There's a lot of options when it comes to picking the right storage if you're building or expanding your gaming PC. We'll break it down so you know what the options mean and what's the best for your system. Let's get inside. Hey everyone, it's Maka from Inside Gaming with Seagate. Broadly speaking, when looking at gaming storage, these are the general types of drives on today's market. One, hard disk drives or HDDs. These are the most common, the drives with actual spinning disks inside. Hard drives are the foundation of gaming storage and you're probably running on one right now. They have massive capacities and low prices, but include some trade-offs like speed limits and larger form factors. Two, solid state drives or SSDs. These are the fastest consumer drives on the market and they're built with flash technology, which means there's no moving parts inside. And they come in a multitude of different form factors as well. The trade-off, higher prices and limited capacities. And three, a bridge between hard drives and SSDs called solid state hybrid drives or SSHDs. These are traditional hard drives that also include a small capacity NAND flash drive acting as a super fast caching buffer. So which ones are right for you? You'll want to consider four essential questions when answering that. Question one, compatibility. What types of drives can my motherboard support? If you want to upgrade to an SSD, but your system only has a SATA connection, you'll be restricted to a 2.5 inch SATA SSD, like Seagate's Barracuda SSD. But if your motherboard has an MVME compatible M.2 slot, you'll be able to consider a smaller M.2 SSD drive like Seagate's Firecuda 510. You'll also want to note your M.2 key configuration. The most common keys are B, which is six pins wide, and M, which is five pins wide, and then B and M, which has both configurations. Seagate's Firecuda 510 is an M keyed device and is labeled as such. There's also physical compatibility to consider. How much space do I have inside of my PC to spare? 3.5 inch drives are great because they provide the largest capacities, but obviously they'll also take up the most room inside of your PC. Conversely, M.2 SSD drives like the Firecuda 510 2280 are about the size of a stick of gum. This one is 22 millimeters by 80 millimeters as noted by its 2280 specification. Question two, capacity. How much storage space do I need to both store and run my games? Although slower than SSDs, traditional hard drives still come with the most storage space. Seagate currently makes hard drives up to 16 terabytes in capacity versus SSDs that tend to max out around the two terabyte mark. And with games not getting any smaller, you'll want to seriously consider making space in your tower for a large capacity hard drive. A common PC gaming setup now is to have a super fast SSD for your boot drive and a secondary hard drive to store your large media libraries. Question three, budget. How much do I have to spend on this build or expansion? Traditional hard drives are by far the best when it comes to the cost per byte consideration. If you need the most storage, you'll save the most money by going with a hard drive. But if your priority is speed, then SSDs are truly the way to go, as their price per IOPS is actually better than that of a hard drive. And IOPS stands for Input Output Operations Per Second, which is how quickly information can be written and read. And question four, performance. What speeds and data efficiency can I get away with for my system? SSDs are the undisputed champs when it comes to speed. 2.5 inch SATA SSDs are 30 times faster than standard hard drives. And an M.2 NVMe SSD is six times faster than even that. But again, make sure to check what connection interfaces your motherboard has before determining what your purchase options are. So there you have it. A general scope of today's storage options and the primary considerations you'll wanna make before building or expanding your PC. Thanks for watching.